Well, according to it, husband and wife law team on TikTok. People wonder how it's even possible that Amber Heard can appeal. Consider this. This is two California residents with a defamation lawsuit and the trial took place in Virginia. And when the lawsuit was filed in Virginia, Amber Heard's team said to the court, this should be taking place in California. You can't just find a set of defamation laws that is more favorable than California's laws, which generally seem to be more towards the side of protecting speech and the First Amendment, as opposed to protecting you know, people's reputation and the truth. These are all very important. I'm not making a decision on them, but what if the Court of Appeals, either for Virginia or you get to the state Supreme Court in Virginia says, we don't want these lawsuits here. The trial judge never should have allowed it here. And on further consideration, jurisdiction should not have been here. Could that be a basis for throwing it out? Probably not, but it's a point that you never know what could happen if the case is appealed. The Court of Appeal in Virginia might not want to accept Amber's appeal because the case was never under Virginia jurisdiction, since both Amber and Johnny are California residents. But the case happened in Virginia. As much as it will be expensive, Amber has a lot of negatives coming her way if she decided to go through with her appeal, since on a larger scale she might not be able to win. On what basis would she even appeal? Will it be on the fact that Johnny lied that she lied? Well, there's enough evidence proving that she actually did lie, that she actually did defame Johnny. So that's already a no-go route. It's not going to be cheap, and considering all the paid experts she hired for this trial, she must be having a really big hole in her financial pocket right now. She still hasn't donated the money she pledged and is now under debt owing Johnny $8 million. A million dollar extra from what she had received from him during their divorce, Karma came back and bit her ass. If she had suppressed her greed and basked in the glory of being viewed as a philanthropist who donated $7 million from her divorce money to charity, she would still be somewhere out there waiting for her appearance in Aquaman 2. But she decided she needed more fame than before, so she asked the ACLU to help her write an op-ed that could be released a day after Aquaman. To boost her movie's popularity, she never mentioned Johnny's name. But it was quite obvious who she was talking about and this led to Johnny's breakdown in life, where he lost all support from his fans, he was cancelled and thrown out by both Disney and Warner Brothers, and at this point he decided to retaliate and seek for justice. Before the op-ed, it didn't seem like Johnny was going to sue Amber for anything, and she could have gotten away with extorting an old man without people noticing. But being greedy made us see her for who she really is. Even if she tries to appeal, there's enough audio evidence of her admitting to having married a coward who ran away and hid during fights, meaning there was no way of frightened. Hiding man could also be the same one dragging her over broken glasses. You fucking... You can't run away every fight. You can't. It's easy. It's it, it's not brave. It's not strong. I don't want to... Because I don't want to fucking fight. You run away every single fight want to make it easy on you so you split. You don't fight for me. You don't fight when there's a problem. You don't... True. Another audio is of Amber admitting to having faked an allegation against Johnny because she didn't want her and her friends to be evicted from his penthouses. Foster had proposed that I leave, not proposed, I'm sorry, said I would have to leave. I'd be kicked out, be evicted. So Rock and Josh and everybody evicted within 21 days. No, I, but I told you, I told yeah. less... Last time we spoke, I told you that you that you were fine. You stay there two, two three, four months, whatever. Just figure it out. We'll figure it out. You you stay there. You be com I thought that too. That you be in your home. Days. Be in your home. No, be I thought that too. And no, he told me twenty one days. That is part of why I excuse the disconnect. If by mistake her appeal does get through, and that's by a miracle, she is still going to lose because everyone has already seen the credible and the non-credible person. Instead of wasting money that she already does not have, she should start saving for her baby's future because as of now, Amber is unemployed in Hollywood and for someone who loves a lavish lifestyle, she would need to find new ways of making money to raise herself and her baby. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.